Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be discussing Virabhadrasana 2, also known as Warrior 2. I like to start from the front of my mat, so come on up to the front of yours. Let's begin into Dasana, grounding down through the spots under the big toe, under the little toe, and the inside and the outside of the heels. Inhale the arms up, reaching nice and tall, and exhale, forward fold. Put a good bend in the knees. Let's send the right leg back. Now you want to be in a nice and wide lunge here. The back foot is going to rotate and spin down so that now you're lined up with your front heel being in line with either your back foot's heel or your back foot's arch. In this position, stick your left hip out behind you and get it tucked under you. This will help keep your knee in a safe position. Draw the belly to the spine and come on up. Now when I come up, I like to have my hands on my hips. That way you can feel if your hips are rotated to the side. And you can bring them square and then check the rib cage because just because your hips are facing one direction doesn't mean your ribs are. Then at the end you release the arms, they reach out by your sides. Now when you're in this position before you move your head, when you look out of the corners of your eyes in your peripheral vision, you should see your fingers. Okay, so you should at least be able to see your thumbs here. Now the head turns to gaze out over the left fingers. And while you're here, take a glance down at your left knee. Make sure it is tracking out over the second and third toes. Keep a nice straight right leg and press into the outside edge of the right foot. As you inhale and exhale, you can think of reaching your fingertips to opposite walls and letting yourself go deeper into your lunge. Shoulders down away from the ears. And exhale, straighten the left knee. Go ahead, let your arms come by your sides and down to your hips. We're going to turn our left foot so that it faces forward. We want to make sure we're lined up here because we're then going to turn our right foot out. So double check that when you did that, your right heel now is lined up with either your left arch or your left heel. Now go ahead, put a bend in that knee and take a look to make sure you're tracking over the second and third toes. To square up your hips, if they're not square, let that right hip stick out behind you and that'll help get the openness that you need. Check the rib cage. The arms reach out by your sides, see your fingers in your periphery, and then gaze over the fingers of your right hand. With a nice straight left leg, seal the outside edge of the left foot down to the mat. Lower your arms, bring your hands to your hips, straighten that leg, turn your toes to face forward, and you can kind of heel toe your feet back together. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you can find me and more information on my website, www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.